This is part 74 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the use of location object. The vendor.location property returns a location object that can be used to get information about the current page. This property can also be used to redirect the browser to a new page. In part 73 of this video series, we discussed how to detect if JavaScript is enabled by using no script element. Another way is by using vendor.location property. Let's look at that in action. Let's work with the same example that we worked with in part 73. So let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. To this project, let's go ahead and add a new page. And let's name this page default.htm. And within the head section, Let's include a section for script vendor.location equals HTML page one dot htm. So let's copy the page name and paste it here. And then within the body section, let's include an h1 element and let's display this message. It seems that you have disabled JavaScript. Please enable JavaScript. Now when we navigate to this default.htm page and if we have JavaScript enabled in the browser so it's going to come to the script block and this piece of code will be executed and this line will cause the page to be redirected to HTML page 1.htm if JavaScript is disabled then this piece of code will not be executed and we will stay on this page and the page says it seems that you have disabled JavaScript please enable JavaScript so we can use this location property to detect if JavaScript is enabled or not so we can either use no script element or vendor.location property so let's look at this in action so let's go ahead and run this so at the moment within IE we have JavaScript enabled look at this when we try to navigate to default.htm it redirects us automatically to HTML page 1.htm that's because let's actually throw in a breakpoint here and run this page in debug mode so look at that you know we come to default.htm page but it hits this breakpoint look at that when I have the mouse over location property it shows us the URL of the current page which is default.htm but then we are changing the location to HTML page 1.htm so this will redirect to HTML page 1.htm now let's go ahead and disable JavaScript so let's go to internet options security custom level scroll all the way to the down and then select disable radio button click OK so now let's navigate to default.htm look at that it seems that you have disabled JavaScript please enable JavaScript so basically this piece of code will not be executed so we will continue to stay on the same page and we get to see that message saying that JavaScript is disabled this vendor.location property is especially useful if we have two different sites that is one site for the users with JavaScript another site for users without JavaScript in this scenario we can make the home page of the non JavaScript website to be the default page and in that page will include a script like this vendor.location equals the URL of the JavaScript enabled site now if users have JavaScript enabled in their browser and they visit this default page they will be automatically redirected to the JavaScript enabled site if they don't have JavaScript enabled then this piece of code will not be executed so they will continue to stay on the site which works without JavaScript enabled here we have some of the useful properties of the location object href hostname protocol and path name href returns the full URL of the current page hostname returns the domain name protocol returns the protocol that is HTTP or HTTPS and path name returns the name and path of the current page and here is an example so to speed things up I have already typed that so let's copy and paste this within this default.htm page 
at the moment we have JavaScript disabled so let's go ahead and enable JavaScript and let's run this page notice that href property returns you know the full URL host name gives us the name of the host that is in this case it's localhost and path name gives us the name and path of the current page and protocol returns the protocol that is used in this case we are using HTTP so we get HTTP back thank you for listening and have a great day